Hey, what's up, Zoners? Welcome to the earliest waiver wire show on the planet. Is your league manager a psychopath and scheduled your lead championship for week 18? Well, if he did, this episode is for you. I'm going to be going over who you should pick up for your 18 waivers and how much to spend on them if you got any money left. If that sounds interesting to you, hold on for seven seconds. Hey, what's up, Zoners? This is Tyler, Big Turd Ward, and Banjo, the dog, coming at you live from my garage, and this is the Fantasy Red Zone. So this is going to be a shorter waiver wire episode since, uh, hey, man, we're living day-to-day here. We cannot be relying on long-term plays. This is going to be just players that we can trust with good matchups, so no bad matchups, players we can trust to not screw us, and we have all of our notes typed out. We'll be sharing that with you right now. First up. Mamma Mia, Zamir, we go again, man. Zamir White. We're going to start off with running backs. I'd spend 100 bucks on this fool if you had it, because this is the last week. So I know you don't. Anyways, dude, 20 rushes for 71 yards, five receptions. That is huge for 35 yards versus Indianapolis today. Dude, 17 plus rushes in each of the last three games. Those were all without Jacobs. Jacobs tore his quad off or whatever the fuck, dude. He has a 79, 76% snap rate, dude. So he is dominating just, just like Josh Jacobs was. He's just not as talented as Josh Jacobs was or is. Uh, Jacobs did not practice, practice all week, so there are no signs of him getting better. So we need to pick up Zamir White just in case he does not play next week or Jacobs does not play next week. Then we put in Zamir, not, Zamir White next week. They do host Denver. 16th most rushing yards and 17th most rushing touchdowns allowed over the last three weeks. That is is an average matchup, but with the usage here, he is a running back too if Jacobs is out. Next up, the last of the running backs on this list. It is short, especially running backs, dude. Hard to come by these days. Khalil Herbert, 100 bucks on this fool. 18 rushes for 124 yards and one touchdown. Man, he had like a, well, in two receptions for five yards today versus Atlanta. But dude, he was like leading the league in a whole bunch of rushing categories in the beginning, like quarter of the season. You know, yards per attempt, explosive, all this bullshit. And then he got injured, and he's been coming on back slowly, slowly. Deontay Foreman out for personal reasons, okay? So it's not like Foreman is out with an injury. This is personal stuff. They're probably not going to play him again next week, dude. Khalil Herbert, if he's on your waiver wire, is a running back two for you next week in the championship. Could win you something. They are at Green Bay, sixth most rushing yards and third most rushing touchdowns allowed over the last three weeks. That's an amazing matchup for Khalil Herbert, man. So, super smash in week 18 fantasy, Khalil Herbert. All right, wide receivers. Elijah Moore. I'd spend 100 bucks on this fool. (laughs) Five receptions on six targets for 61 yards and a touchdown this week versus the New York Jets. So, terrible matchup. I told you, dude. Like, Elijah Moore has a terrible matchup. DJ Reed, all those fools give up, like, less than 0.2 fantasy points per route, per uh, route ran or whatever that is god awful man and he produced got that touchdown 61 yards amari cooper has an has a heel injury that was last second so there's a good chance amari cooper is not going to go again joe flacco dude on fire save uh amari cooper for the playoffs browns because yeah clinched it dude elijah moore is probably going to be a focal point in week 18 he has the second most receptions and receiving yards on cleveland after amari cooper just for wide receivers. We know Njoku is probably leading that. And then, uh, dude, Cincinnati plays man at a top 10 rate, just like the Jets did. And uh, no wide receiver ranks inside the top 75 fantasy points per route run against man. So they all suck against man. Uh, but they, they had to go against the Jets, who ran man pretty heavily, and he did well. So now he gets another top 10 man defense in Cincinnati. And, dude, Cincinnati is not good at man. Sixth most reception yards and ninth most reception touchdowns over the last three games. They've been sucking. So Elijah Moore, dude, good matchup next week. Could carry you to a week 18 championship. Next up, dude, this guy is on fire. Patrick Mahomes dreams about this guy every night. Demarcus Robinson, 100 bucks I'd spend on this fool. Six receptions on 10 targets, man. That's more than Cooper Cup. That is more than Puka Nakua. That led the team, man, for 92 yards versus the Giants today. Touchdowns in four straight games heading into today. 11 and a half plus fantasy points in each of those games. So, dude, four straight games with 11 and a half plus fantasy points. And then he got 10 targets today. Five plus targets in, in four of his last five games. He's at San Francisco next week. This kind of makes me like him even more. 
Four, they are giving up 14th most passing yards and ninth most passing uh, touchdowns over the last three weeks. So do not be afraid to play people against San Francisco, at least, uh, th- you know, pass catchers. And, dude, they're going to be focusing on Cooper Cup and Puka Nakua. Puka killed them last time. There's a good chance that Marcus Robinson does well again next week against the 49ers. All right, guys, on to the quarterbacks. Joe Flacco, flack around and find out. Flack around and find out. I told you to, I, told, I, I flacked around. And I said to sit him, I found out. So 100 bucks I'd spent on this fool. He threw for 309 yards and three touchdowns with only that one interception versus the tough matchup, the Jets. Dude, they were allowing like 130 yard or 130 passing yards per game. This fool was going to triple that shit, man. So three touchdowns in three of his, of his five starts this season. Dude, quarterbacks throwing for three touchdowns is uh, very hard to come by these days. I don't know why, but that's just the way it is. And he did it. In three of his five starts, dude, that is 60% of the time. So more than half. Four straight top 10 uh, quarterback finishes, dude. He was quarter- number one quarterback last week. And when I was writing this, he was the number one quarterback this week. So he's going to be in the top three this week, dude. He's at Cincinnati next week. Again, dude, the sixth most passing yards and the ninth most reception or passing touchdowns allowed over the three last three games. Easy matchup for Joe Flacco next week. And hey, dude, we were afraid to start him this week. You got to start Joe Flacco, man. You got to start. Joe Flacco. Next up, this one might be a little bit of a stretch, but Gardner Minshew, 100 bucks on this guy, 224 yards, one touchdown. That is pretty terrible today versus Las Vegas. But hey, man, next week is another week. <laughs> Gardner Minshew, 11 touchdowns in versus three interceptions with a 92 passer rating at home this year. Dude, he's averaging like 20 points, eight, uh, fantasy points per game at home in the last like five home games or something like that. So. They get to be home next week again. So it is another flip of the coin. His floor is probably like 15 points. Dude, his ceiling at home is like 20, 25 points. So CJ Stroud's going to be throwing the ball around there. They're going to have to catch up, I assume. So he, they host Houston, the seventh most passing yards and the fifth most passing touchdowns over the last three games. That is a very good matchup. So Gardner Minshew, look for him to rebound next week. All right, guys, my preseason darling, I said to, I'd get Sam Laporte and Juwan Johnson. Well, I would have been kind of halfway right. But look at me, dude. I drafted Travis Kelsey first round. Shit. Anyways, dude, tight ends now. Jawan Johnson, 100 bucks. I spent on this fool. Eight receptions on 12 goddamn targets for 90 yards and a touchdown today versus Tampa Bay. So I was saying, dude, in the live show this morning, Tampa Bay can't stop shit as far as passing goes. And uh, yeah, dude, they threw the ball to him 12 times. I did not see that coming. I thought that was going to be Olave. Olave took the hit. So touchdowns in three straight games. Juwan Johnson, dude, last year had like touchdowns in like six straight games. I remember this on my waiver wire show last year. Seven plus targets in each of his last two games. So hyper targeted plus touchdowns. It's what you want, man. Like top eight or top nine, top 10 tight end play next week. They host Atlanta next week. They're giving up the 10th most points to tight ends this season at 10.8 points per game. That's double digits. That's what you want. So great matchup for Juwan Johnson next week. All right, guys, let's wrap this up. This is a tight end that I'm pretty excited about because I didn't barely pay attention to him too much. Tuckercraft, a user, a, a user, a viewer brought him up, and then I kind of looked into him a little bit more. Dude, 100 bucks I spent on this guy. All my money. Four receptions on six targets for 60 yards last week versus Carolina. At least four receptions in four, and 57 yards in each of his last three games, dude. So this guy, this tight end, has had a high floor. Musgrave lacerated his goddamn kidney. He's been trying to come back, dude, but he's just not been featured. And in this offense with uh, Christian Watson out and some banged up uh, other wide receivers, Wicks as well, Jaden Reed is kind of injured. Dude, Tucker Craft could be a great play today. This is uh, going to be happening tonight. Like I said, I usually shoot this show early. So look in the comments for more people added to this list. They do host Chicago next week. They're giving up the third most points to tight ends this season at 11.7. That cornerback, those, those cornerbacks in Chicago are awesome. The back end is awesome. They're giving up points to the tight end because that's what they have to do. So that's what the defenses that's what the defenses are attacking or the offenses are attacking them with. So, anyways, that is it. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. If there is somebody that I do not have on this list, please comment down below. Help us out. This is a group effort, and waiver wires are super important. This uh, show did come out early, so I will be adding people as well. Sunday night game. Monday night game. So check for that. And hey, man, hopefully I earned a thumbs up. Hopefully I earned a subscription. If you are not already subscribed, man, we need your help. We want to take the show to a whole nother level, make it huge. 
And that starts with you subscribing. So please support this show. Hey, this is Tyler, Big Turd Ward, and I appreciate you.